Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today I want to talk about if it's really cheaper to be homesteading than to buy your food, for example, somewhere else to make your own food. I want to just address a few maybe myths and um, wrong thoughts about homesteading. Many people are tired of living a life in, in uh, cities and um, having to buy all the food at the grocery store and they dream of a life um, on the countryside where they can grow their own food and where they can um, save money but there are a few issues with that that I want to address real quick. Is it really more profitable to raise your own chickens and eggs than to buy them in the grocery store? The answer is both yes and no. The problem with this whole thing is that our food production has been industrialized and the industry has been subsidized by government heavily that um, the kind of food you get, it's almost impossible for someone to um, grow food for cheaper at home. Let's say you want to have some chickens and your food scraps are probably not gonna um, feed enough chickens so you have eggs and meat all the time. So you need to buy some feed. Well, if you want to buy feed in small bags, if you just have a few chickens, you want to buy organic feed here in Sweden, you're soon at a kilo price of 10 crowns per kilo feed. And then you realize that you pay as much for feed per chicken per day than an egg costs in the grocery store. And then you don't, ha then you haven't added all the infrastructure, you haven't added, um, you know, the waters, the feeders, and all of the time that you put in it. Are the eggs better? Absolutely. It is not impossible to grow food with better quality at home. Because if you go into the, uh, somewhere and you buy food of good quality, you pay more because, um, you don't want the animal to pay the price and you want to have food that's sustainable that actually can be grown in that way um, in the future as well and you want to have food of good uh, good quality healthy and that food just costs more is that what you should do I encourage you to do it and and start out with feeding them food scraps so you can lower that cost and there are lots of ways to keep that cost down and that's why, you know, there are so many good videos out on YouTube. Justin Rhodes, where he builds his maggot feeder and, and a free chicken feed and all of that. And we will want to do that too with compost to keep the cost low. But you see, there's so many, so many things to consider. If you, for example, want to go homesteading, maybe you, many people don't realize that there are a lot of costs. You know, either you really live in the forest and you take an axe and a handsaw and make your firewood, for example. But then, once you need chainsaws, it's really expensive if you can't earn any money with it. Once you uh, want to have lumber to build your buildings, it's really expensive to have a mill if you don't earn money with it. It's really expensive to have a tractor or an ATV or something. You see me often talk about how we want to go more and more into farming and um, everything will just get bigger. I, I mentioned that we want to have more cows in the future and someone commented or several people have commented over the past month, Simeon you have so many ideas, uh, you guys commented uh, you already have too much work, how are you going to do all of this? But what people don't realize is that it takes me just as long to move the mobile egg, uh, the mobile chicken stable with uh, with 20 chickens in it than it does to move with 200 chickens in it. It takes the same amount of time to move the fence for a thousand chickens than it does for um, for fif 50. It's the same time for me to go and open uh, and, and move the cows to another paddock for 10 cows than it is for 50 cows. The, the difference is that my time is much more valuable when I do it more efficient, more effective, with more animals. And the problem with homesteading is that you do everything on such a small basis and everything takes so much time that um, you don't get much money for it. 
Now, there's no doubt about it that there is such a high quality in living if you live this way. And that's what I want to stress here, the point. That homesteading is a choice of life. It is an entire lifestyle where you want to and need to live simpler, more connected to the roots, more connected to where your food comes from, and, and the ba basis of life, I would say. Um, it's not going to be easier, it's probably going to be simpler, but there are a lot of costs there. And for me, I really see that not everybody can do this. Not everybody can live on a farm or a homestead and grow their own food. And that's why I want to take advantage of this. You know, I want to grow food for other people. I want to provide the kind of quality product for other people that um, that we enjoy and that enables me to be able to grow my own food for cheaper. I am able to do what I love doing and make other people happy and healthy as well. And that is a, really for me the ultimate way of ma making homesteading and farming possible. You see today there is a romanticized picture of what homesteading is and uh, people just picture it, you know, uh, you live this kind of little house on the prairie uh, lifestyle, you know, where you just sit on the porch and, uh, you know, then you walk through the tall grass a little bit and you pet your animals a little bit and you have fun. I think that's not true historically. If you look at it historically, you've always had people going out and it was called a homestead. And what it was is it was a family growing their food to survive and um, they also needed some money from somewhere. If the women produced something that they sold, um, the men maybe made some firewood and sold that, they grew some crops and sold that. Um, I, I think this kind of thing um, where you just wanna buy a little place in the forest and be away from everybody and be by yourself, um, you know, maybe that's what some people want and can do financially, but I, I don't think that's really um, historically the homesteading and I think Financially, that's not really possible. You see, when we moved here, what we found is that um, money was just poured into this farm and it disappeared. We found that it is more expensive to live on the countryside and that's why so many people move into the cities. It is really hard to earn money on the countryside because there are not many jobs. And one after the other, we started to get town jobs. And I've been working a town shop up until last year. And starting up the farm and having a homestead with a town shop is really, really hard. Um, you guys, Many of you guys know Art and Bree and Art, he works still and they have the YouTube channel and the homestead. And these guys, I, I haven't talked much with them about it, it's just a little bit, but these guys are so busy, extremely busy. And I know what that's like, we know what that's like, you know, coming home, and doing all of this work, it just wears you out and it's a lot. But that's the way you have to go, either pour money into it or I would say you have a lot of money and then just live that kind of dream that's for many people unrealistic or you try to really earn some money off the homestead. And, and today we have a lot of advantages that people want to come back to the roots, they want to buy healthy food. There are a lot of farms, even a lot of smaller farms that have done this successfully. Why are not there not more farms? I don't know. But I'm just super excited to be on this journey. We get um, a lot of requests lately for eggs and I'm just so glad we are hatching and raising chickens. I can't wait for this growing season to start. I'm very optimistic and um, just looking forward to this all. I would not want to live differently, um, you know, for my family, just the food that I can provide for the family. I believe a lot of our food is corrupted that you buy in the grocery stores. How can you really know that something is organic that says it, that comes from a thousand miles away? You know, I don't think it's healthy for the environment if you have red tomatoes on the Swedish grocery store shelf um, that come from Greece or Spain um, in the middle of winter. You know, they were shipped and, and you know, so, so if you grow your own food, it's just so nice and so healthy and so good. And um, that's, that's what it's all about for me. And I'm just so thankful that there are doors opening up where I can provide for 
uh, for the family at the same time as we were earning money and selling to customers. So that's living the dream for me. And, and our farm is open. You know, we haven't announced on the YouTube channel where it is, but um, our farm is open for customers. They come here in the summertime all the time, daily customers come. Um, everybody's welcome. Everybody can look around and walk around and see everything, and it's a wonderful thing. Of course, you get some weirdos <laughs> at times, but, you know, it's just fun to interact with the people, to have the social aspect, and we are all these families living on this farm, um, we can help each other, we can still take a break on vacation, and then the other families can look after the farm for a few days. That's just great. And that's what realistic homesteading to me is all about. Not every video is for everyone. Um, maybe this was for you, and um, you enjoyed this. So, thank you for, for listening to me, and thank you for watching it. Thank you for your guys' support. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.